Hi, nice to meet you, coach. I am Jessica's mom. Hi, nice to meet you too. You are so early. Thanks for coming to the parents' meeting. We will start in about 15 minutes. How is Jessica doing at practice? She is very talented. Jessica enjoyed practice and listened well yesterday. I am assuming she will be starting? Well, it is hard to tell. We have only had one practice and we do not have our first tower net for another six weeks. I will have a better idea in a few weeks. All the girls will get to play. Well, she is extremely gifted. She will definitely be starting and playing more than the other girls. All the girls will have to earn their playing time. I do not think she will be challenged enough playing on this team. Can we move her up to one older team? Have you even seen the team practice? Jessica can definitely learn from her teammates and will be challenged. She could probably start on the 13 team. She was peppering with a player on the 13 team and hit a ball that the girl could not get. Well that's nice, but the girls will have to earn their playing time by showing up and working hard in practice. Oh, about that. Jessica can only make it to one practice a month. She has to meet with a dietitian, a bodybuilder, and a sports psychologist. Since she is so talented for a 10-year-old, we want the best for her. Well, so do I, but she is only 10 and might not be ready for weight training and other things. It is probably best that she just plays and learns the game more. Jessica is a very gifted girl. She will not need to go to many practices to start. Do not tell me how to parent. My apologies, but I do not think it is good for 10-year-old girls to wait train. Jessica could not hit the ball at yesterday's practice to save her life. She also had a hard time figuring out how to get her knee pads on. I am going to work with her on hitting and on other things, such as defense, passing, and setting, but she needs to come to practice. Well, since she is going to be your best player, I know you could give her private lessons for free. Her schedule is open from 2.53 to 3.47 on Mondays. I am sure you could stop by our house and help her then? I'm sorry, I have a day job. Well, couldn't you use your lunch break? Jessica is going to be your best player. I don't think that will work. I tend to eat lunch on my lunch breaks. I could show up to practice a little early to help Jessica out. We cannot be early. My other daughter is training to be on the U.S. gymnastics team. She is six. I have to get her from practice before dropping Jessica off. I was a good athlete too, you know. I played volleyball when I was 11 and served four aces in a row one time. I was the best on my team, and Jessica will be too. Then she needs to show up to more than one practice a month. Well, if you could give her private lessons on Mondays from 2.53 to 3.47, we wouldn't have a problem. I am volunteering to coach this team. I just cannot make that happen. Fine. I am assuming the team will be traveling a lot. We need as many college coaches as possible to see Jessica play. She should already be getting recruited. We play all the local teams in the area, but that is it. This is not a traveling team. And Jessica is not even in middle school yet. We must travel as much as possible so college coaches can see my daughter play. You can travel wherever you like, but this team will simply be playing locally. Fine. Jessica and I must go now. I have to go get my prize dog groomed. But you are going to miss all the information about the team and what we are doing this year. Just email it to me. Thanks. We are very busy, you know. Goodbye. Wait. We must go. Goodbye. Wait. At least take our schedule. I am going to be late. Goodbye. Thank you for coaching.